Hi, this is Adam with the BMW Repair Guide. Today we are going to test a relay. This is actually from a fuel pump on a uh, 1995 8 Series. Um, a very common um, relay in BMWs, older BMWs. And we want to learn how to test relays um, when we're diagnosing um, an electrical issue. In our case, our fuel pump is, is not working. We already checked the fuse. The fuse is fine. Um, so we want to check the relay to make sure that it's not the culprit. Now this can be used for any car that uses these style relays. Um, it's not just for BMWs, even though we are quite biased about BMWs around here. Um, so a relay is basically just a switch. It's like a light switch. Um, when you want to turn the lights on in a room, you use your finger to push the switch up, the current goes through the switch and to the light and um, illuminates the bulb. Uh, a relay is basically the same thing, but uh, instead of using your finger, obviously, to switch it, um, it uses electrical current. So the way we want to test this is uh, we're going to use, um, we need 12 volts since it's a 12 volt relay and it's powering a 12 volt component. So the first thing you want to do is, is create a power source. I just use two six volt batteries. Um, all of this, all of this, I bought at Lowe's. Um, I think I paid maybe about twenty bucks for all of it. Uh, I used two twelve volt batteries um, and use some electrical tape to hold them together like that. Um, you're going to need some test leads. In this case, we'll need four of them. Um, we're going to need one to jump uh, the battery, uh, to, to put them in the series, right? Because we've got six and six makes 12 volts. So positive, negative, and then we need two more leads to go from the, the positive and negative terminals and the, you know, to power up the, the relay with. Um, we need another uh, lead that we're going to use um, on the relay itself to, uh, to jump um, two of the positive terminals. And then you're going to need some kind of a test light. I use... Uh, I bought this at Lowe's. It's just a um, uh, it's just a light that you would use on an RV. It's a clearance marker. Um, I just happened to solder a couple of alligator clips to it, um, you know, because I use it for testing other stuff. One of the alligator clips is coming off, but um, so you know, I use it in my uh, I, I just keep it in my electrical kit so I can test other components with it. But um, you know, really simple, really cheap. Um, and really easy as you will see. So all relays have a schematic diagram on the side of them and it's gonna be very difficult for you to see this. Um, but uh, I'm gonna put, put it up on the screen as well right now showing you um, basically the wiring diagram for the relay. And um, like I said, basically it's just a switch like a light switch that when you apply a power to it, um, it, that's what activates the switch and allows the power to fly to the uh, flow to the actual component. I like to put use a sharpie and make little marks on it as to where my wiring goes uh, or my um, my clips. It just makes life a lot easier, especially when you um, can't see like me. So the first thing we're going to do is um, is we're going to we're going to attach the positive lead. Okay, um, to the first terminal. And like I said, this is up on the screen so you can see exactly what terminals I'm attaching the leads to, but we're gonna go ahead and attach the positive power. The next thing we wanna do is we want to jump from the positive, from the positive terminal on, on the relay over to the positive side of the switch, like that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our test light and we're going to attach to the other side of the switch and then to the negative terminal like that and we're all set so when we touch this when we touch the negative from the battery to the negative terminal on the relay we should hear the relay click and the light should illuminate which means that the relay is working correctly. If the wor relay was not working correctly, um, we never would have, uh, we wouldn't hear the relay click and, and the light wouldn't come on. So this relay is good and we can go ahead and continue on 
diagnosing our issue with the fuel pump. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and like the video. And for more information on repairing your BMW, please see us at www.bmwrepairguide.com.